saying here that says real eyes, real lies, real lies. <laughs> That's one of them tongue twisters. I know Pastor Kenny likes that. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. So, so, so let me ask you this question. Um, if someone, if you knew someone was lying to you, my wife and I were talking last night, my ABCD, Adorable Brown Caramel Delight, and, uh, and she's like, ooh, baby, that's, that's powerful. So I, so, cause we were talking about this. I said, so, so if somebody lied, if, if, if you knew someone was lying to you, would you, first of all, listen? And number two, would you believe what they were saying if you knew it was a lie? <laughs> right? And she's like, wait a minute. Well, of course not. As a matter of fact, you know, especially in a situation like with children, it's like, look, I know you're lying. Just, I don't even want to hear it, right? <laughs> like, like, no, stop. So here's the, the question. If, if we don't even want to listen when we know someone's lying and we sure won't believe when someone's telling us a lie that we know of, why do we believe the lies that we tell ourselves? Ooh. Let me say that again. Remember, note takers are money makers, but action takers are really big money makers. Come on now. I said, if you're not willing to listen to and especially believe a lie from somebody else, why would you believe and even listen to the lies that you tell yourself? Because, again, in our mind, we have these, these tapes that are playing over and over again, and these things that keep coming to our minds. And I'm saying, this is my friend, we've we got to get out of the place of denial. I keep saying my acronym for denial is I talk about my book, Don't Even Notice I Am Lying. Like, for instance, what about this one? I don't have any lies that I believe in, <laughs> right? As others say, no, I, I don't have any lies that I believe in. Everything I believe is the truth. Really? Well, <laughs> so what I'm saying is this, that, that's a person that's in a state of denial. That's why I keep telling you. That's why I keep studying. I keep learning. And, and uh, as a matter of fact, be taken off to speak at the uh, one-year millionaire live event out in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, but, um, but, but, but again, I, 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 had, I don't just speak at these different seminars. I, I, I attend all the other sessions. I spoke for a company uh, last, let's see, week before last, and, and the guy in charge of the meeting came to me and said, Doc, he said, uh, the master distributor of the company, he said, man, wow, I appreciate you. He said, you know, you were our keynote. He said, but then you, you, you stay. He said, you came early and you listened to the other speakers and things, and then you stayed to the end. I was like, well, of course. <laughs> now, now I tell you, to me, it's partly a selfish thing. Why? Because like I keep telling you, I, I don't know, listen, I don't know what I don't know, but I do know what I want to know. And I want to know what I need to know so I can do what I ought to do to get my breakthrough. Now, how about you? So I don't know, like I said, you may be just one step from a massive breakthrough. And it might be, like I said, the next call. It might be the call tomorrow. It, it, it might be a CD. It might be a book. As a matter of fact, if you didn't order that book yet, free book, www.freebookandtrialoffer.com freebookandtrialoffer.com. If you didn't get that book, which, by the way, I didn't even mention this before, the book, you just paid the shipping and handling. He's going to give you two weeks into his uh, Bible Success Academy. Uh, but also you're going to get two tickets to his live one, million, uh, one Year Millionaire Live event, which, by the way, if you go to www.oneyearmillionairelive.com, you'll see it's, it's uh, $1,295 to attend. But when you get the book, the book, by the way, you only pay the shipping and handling. You're going to get two tickets to a, one of those live events. We've got one that, again, I'm speaking at in Minneapolis uh, this is Friday and Saturday, and then um, two weeks from now we'll be in, um, where will we be? Florida, um, Tampa, Florida. Um, then we've got this first international one coming. But, but again, the, 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 when you get the book, there'll be two tickets you have access to. So instead of paying $1,295, you, you'll get two tickets in the book that you get for free along with the two-week uh, of the Bible Success Academy and even some things that I was learning in, in there last night. And, again, this is a guy that I mentored years ago, and as soon as he opened up his academy, um, I joined and, um, and been, you know, um, because, again, I, 
I would always constantly be learning, my friend, and you should as well. And I don't want to, I don't want to buy into the lie that there's no lies that I believe in. I want to understand that I've got to constantly be in a state of growing. And the more I study and the more I learn, the more I find out there's lies that I believed in and I wasn't even aware that I was believing in. There's, there's a, a process as you grow, you, you, you become more aware of things that you weren't aware of before. And so again, my friend, real eyes real lies, real lies. So we pray that God opens up your eyes to the truth. So, hey, how about this lie? This is just um, this is just my lot in life, right? This is just my lot in life. See, again, that's why it's Dr. Breakthrough. I'm so committed, and I keep telling people I can't provide the breakthrough. I just prescribe the breakthrough. But when people follow the breakthrough prescription, God Almighty provides the breakthrough they desire and deserve. And the breakthrough is exploding through barriers that at one time seemed insurmountable. And sometimes the barriers are self-erected barriers based on lies. And again, some of us, we grew up hearing all these lies. And others of us, my friend, we started picking up on some of Some, again, our feelings, right, will lie to us. That's why I say my, my eyes and my senses tell me lies, and, and I've got to be careful. But, but some people, well, this is just my lot in life, right? Like I've tried so many times, it just didn't work, and this is just my lot in life. Well, let me tell you something, my friend. That's a lie, and you don't want to believe the lie. You don't want to repeat the lie. And, again, it's amazing. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by a word. And the more you repeat that, and some of, sometimes you don't say it out loud. You say it in your mind, but you're still hearing yourself. And listen, my friend, that is a lie. See, God, get this now, God created the universe but he made you the creator of your own world. Oh, that's good right there. I, <laughs> I said, listen, see, God created the universe, but he allows you to be the creator of your own world. Uh, you know, in the beginning, God created. He created, first of all, what? Creation. And uh, then he created what? Creatures, right? The animals. And then he created, get this now, a co-creator uh, that's you and I. <laughs> right? So listen, as a matter of fact, he says, look, Adam, I made all the animals. Now, guess what? You, you name them all. Whatever you kept, And I'm telling you, whatever you say, that's going to be the name. And I'm telling you, God created the universe, but he allows you to create your own world. So stop saying this is just your lot in life. No, your lot in life is based on maybe some ignorance, maybe some lies you've been believing in, maybe some lies you've been practicing that you're not even aware of. And that's why, again, my friend, that's why, again, it's so important to read everything you can read that's good and to listen and attend seminars and webinars and constantly, my friend, growing because, again, you want to be able to, just like if you have a beautiful garden, you, the weeds are automatically going to grow. You've got to constantly keep pulling the weeds out. And I'm telling you, as sincere as I am, as much as I love God and love my wife and my children, so I'm telling you there's weeds that'll grow up. If I'm not constantly watching, constantly looking, there's weeds and lies that'll creep in, my friend, and cause me. And same here. And so again, my friend, you have to combat the lies with the truth and understand, no, 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 no. This is not my life in life. And if it is, I'm changing lots. <laughs> And that's the power, my friend, of home-based business also to empower you. And as Dr. Breakthrough, I, I educate, empower, and elevate people to break through any barrier that would hinder their success. And I do that by helping them to break to the best version or at least a better version of themselves. And so, my friend, you can do that. Hey, what about this one? It goes along with that. How about this? The devil made me do it. Y'all remember <laughs> Flip Wilson years ago? Now I'm kind of dating myself now. The devil made me do it, right? And, uh, again, goes back to a truth that I taught you before, and that is getting mixed up, um, and, and this is one of the biggest breakthroughs I've had in my life, and that is uh, mixing up and not understanding the difference between a contributing factor and a deciding factor. So there's many contributing factors, but there's only one deciding factor. And so, yes, the devil can make things, and yes, people can create things, a situation that makes it easier or more conducive for you to do something. But guess what, sir, ma'am, can I tell you this? You and you alone are the deciding factor. See, God made you with a free will, and the sad thing is Adam chose and Eve chose a free will to choose against God, which means, my friend, if you could choose your use your own free will to go against God, that means if God didn't make you do anything, the devil can't make you do anything. Come on, somebody. So stop that, my friend. Stop the lies. 
real eyes realize the real lies. And that's a lie right there, my friend. The devil didn't make you do it. Listen, people, well, he just ruined my day. No, no, nobody can ruin your day. Stop. Listen, stop giving your power over to somebody else. Now, somebody can make it easy and more conducive for your day not to go well. But guess what? It's like when I was 17 years of age, oh my goodness, 40 years ago, <laughs> I heard Abraham Lincoln. I read, excuse me, Abraham Lincoln. Well, I heard him in my mind as I was reading, but um, but but he said, most people are about as happy as they make up their mind to be. I was like, wait a minute, you mean I got a choice? Oh man, look, if I got a choice, I choose to be happy, <laughs> right? I mean, I don't know about you. I've been sad. I've been happy and happy is better than being sad. So anyway, all right, next thing real quick. Um, and, and, and by the way, the, the reason this is so important is because the more of these lies, like, for instance, think about this. Think about that baby elephant that I talk about in my book, that baby elephant that, that they put a chain on that elephant, that baby elephant. Of course, he's rambunctious, and he or she tries to go out, and they get to a point, and all of a sudden, boom. That chain, <laughs> they pull the chain, man, it, and they associate that pain and like, okay, but you know, he's young and rambunctious, so he goes running again, poof, it gets pulled back again, you know, oop, jerk, gets jerked by the chain. And so that little elephant starts associating, watch this now, one of the greatest blessings the elephant has, a greatest strength is his memory, but watch this, my friend, but now he starts associating pain with going a certain distance. I mean, have you ever noticed, you remember in the old days we'd go to the zoo and you see a big old elephant with a rope around his foot? And, um, am I the only one that would sit there thinking, wait a minute, that big old elephant on a little rope, he could break that rope any time he wanted to. Well, he could, but he won't. Why? Because he's bought into the lie. He's bought into, he allowed his memory. See, what happens is they do that for a certain amount of time. And then, my friend, after a while, the elephant learns, if I go so far, it's going to hurt. I can't go any further. And this little old elephant has this big old chain. Well, watch this. Well, now they, the, the chain now, they can take the chain off and put a rope on. But because, get this now, in the mind of the elephant, he remembers, get this now, because he remembers, now it's his own memory that's stopping him. It's not the, the rope. It's, listen, it's the memory, and that's exactly what happens, my friend, and so many of us, we've had memories, we had failures in our past, we had things, and guess what, my friend, you keep projecting those, those failures from the past, you keep projecting that and thinking, my friend, that you're the same way, and you keep thinking situations, no, 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 listen, that's a lie, my friend, it's a lie out of the pits of hell, and I'm telling you, my friend, you can break through, you can change, you can experience incredible success. It's like I was speaking in uh, the UK uh, a few years back, and uh, and they got me into the prison system. And they were looking at taking my break. Your breakthrough is guaranteed. That book and having me turn it into a curriculum. Uh, they could teach throughout the prisons. And and one of the prisoners, uh, one of the um, inmates there, excuse me, uh, said, uh, "Well, that guy, he's teaching this stuff. That's not. That's just not. That's just a bunch of hogwash, right?" And so they wanted me to meet with this uh, particular person. I, I said, "Man, I, I'd be glad to." Um, and, um, and by the way, I, what the, the lie that I'm covering here is what I have done or do determines who I am. What I have done or do determines who I am. So, so I was talking to this gentleman and I said, well, he said, yeah, I think what you're talking about is a bunch of hogwash, all this breakthrough stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, sir, let me ask you a question. I said, have, have you been incarcerated long? He said, well, yeah, I've been, well, yeah, off and on. And I said, oh, so in other words, you, you, you end up getting out and then you end up back in. I said, can I help you understand what possibly might be the situation? He said, okay, yeah, go ahead, take a stab at it. What is it? I said, well, how do you refer to yourself? He said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, what, how do you refer to yourself? I said, do, do, you, do you refer to yourself as a, as a criminal? He said, well, yeah, that's what I am. I mean, <laughs> that's what <laughs> I said. I said, well, maybe that might be the problem. He said, excuse me? I said, sir, there, listen, um, here's the deal. I said, there's, um, there's a man uh, that, uh, and a woman, they, they can commit a crime. That doesn't make them a criminal. Now, criminal. Now, some people may label you that, but you don't have to live limited by your labels. And the labels, to me, is another word for lie. And remember, real eyes, real lies, real lies. So I said, instead of referring to yourself or thinking to yourself as a criminal, how about saying I'm a man that's committed a crime 
I'll do the time, and it's done. I said, see, a man who does the, who committed a crime and then he does his time, it's done. And by the way, remember I said before, when you learn to grow through whatever you're going through, that's where you get your breakthrough. So I said, so you can grow through the period. And so, first of all, never refer to yourself as a criminal. Never refer to yourself that say, I'm a man who committed the crime, but who committed the crime. I'm committed once I do my time, now I'll go forward. And he's like, man, wow. He said, man, I just got a breakthrough. He said, I'm, I'm telling you, he said, somebody said to me when I was young, they said, man, you're going to end up being a criminal the way you are, as bad as you are. You, you're going to be a criminal. And he said, and so I, I, yeah, I just started referring to myself as that. And he said, you're right. Now I, I, I do something wrong. I, I, I go through and then I, I get out and then I end up doing, because I just figure, oh, well, I'm a criminal, right? And he said, I didn't even understand that. But yeah, deep psychologically, deep on the inside. Listen, you got to realize, my friend, you are... And, and, and like that elephant, again, the elephant, the remembrance, memory gets us now, are thinking of that rope, uh, that chain rather, now it's changed to a rope and he doesn't even realize it and he's buying into and so he doesn't even try. And I'm telling you, there's so many of you, you've got a governor on your life, you've got, listen, there, there, there are things you could experience so much more, you could experience so many powerful things but there's limits on your own mind. There's lies that are keeping you back. And like that elephant, my friend, you're, you're just tied to a little rope, but you're big enough now that you can break the rope, except in your mind, the rope is that chain, and you associate going so far with pain. And so, my friend, the own, your own body trying to preserve itself says, I, I can't go too far. And that's why some folks, again, self-sabotage in the home-based business. That's why some folks get right to the place they're about to get their breakthrough, and they back up. Ah, why? They're scared, my friend. I'm telling you, these are lies. These are limits. And oftentimes, they're self-imposed. And one of my main mentor, Bill Bailey, again, would, he, he would say these, these, these self-imposed limitations that we put on ourselves. And so that's why, again, I've taken – I know it's been a lot of time, and I keep hitting it and coming from different areas and different arenas, and I'm covering so many lies. Why? Because, again, I keep telling you, you, I'm not just talking. I mean this. The longer I live, the more I find there's lies that I believed in that I didn't realize was lies. And once I realize they're lies, i got to combat it with the truth. All right, I'll, st I'll stop with this last one. I'm just one person. Here it is now. I'm just one person. What difference can I make? Right? You ever felt like that? My, I'm, I'm just one person. Right? I mean, I mean, in the sea of humanity, I'm just one person. What difference can I make? And you know the famous story. I'm probably you've heard it about the man with the starfish that was on the beach. I talk about this in my book. And uh, the guy, the, the beach was filled with all these starfish, and the guy picked up the starfish and threw it in. And uh, the hundreds and maybe thousands of starfish. And he's just walking along, picking up, throwing them. And one guy said, man, he said, uh, you, you can't save all those starfish. You, 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 ain't, w w you think you're making a difference? And the guy reached down and grabbed one and threw it in and said, I just made a difference in that one's life. <laughs> reached down, picked up another one, threw it in, said, I just made a difference. So, okay, so, so you, you might be right. I, I, can't, I can't save them all, right? I can't get to them all, but I, I just made a difference in that one. And I'm telling you, my friend, and here it is, my friend, here it is. In our minds, and again, sometimes because we're, we, you know, we've been taught to be humble and all this, and humility is, is not downplaying yourself. Humility is realizing where your power comes from, my friend. But watch this. Stop downplaying. Stop saying you're only one person. Listen, one person in the family can change the whole family. One person can change the whole neighborhood. Listen, but if not, you can change neighbors in the neighborhood. But I'm saying stop buying into the lies. Realize that those are lies, and you can break through it. And I'm telling you, and that's what, again, my friend, Pastor Kenny, why he's so passionate. That's why he's so committed. That's why he's so dedicated. Why? Because, listen, my friend, even if just the leader's on the call, if he just makes a difference in your lives, and you each go touch a few, and they touch a few, and they touch a few, and they touch a few, the world would be a better place to live. So you're not just one person, my friend. No, no, you can make a difference. And it may be just one person's life that you make a difference in who makes a difference in the lives of many others. So never buy the lie.